it is time to make the frame for the door. Uh, there's the layout that we want. Uh, you got your choice here if you want to go this way or that way, you know, uh, whatever you want to do. But it has been determined that we're going to go this way. Now, I'll tell you a secret about construction here. You really want them to go this way because if the hinges are here, it'll hold the, the whole door accountable. You know what I mean? If you, if you ran this one from side to side instead of in the middle, you'd just be pulling on this piece of wood. I understand modern glues and... I understand uh, joinery is, you know, I don't have to make my own nails or anything. I understand all that. But this is just a, a technique that I would suggest that you, that you employ. So the other thing here is uh, uh, this wood, you got you to kind of watch the way it bows and, uh, and the way that bows. And see, that's got a bow going this way. You, you can cite that and see there's there's a there's there's a bow in it. Now that I I, I kind of want to use to my advantage here. Uh, you can tell that that's going to that's going to be pretty good. Uh, you got to worry about stuff like this where it's discolored, and you got to worry about the label. If you got to use the label label label, then you got to use it. In this case, I do not have to. So I've got my, uh, I'm all set up to, uh, to cut this wood and to I try not to step on my projects. The floor is, oh boy, that thing got heavy, didn't it? Okay, oof. So let's cut this end off uh, and mark them carefully. Uh, there is a sticker there. Now we're, uh, this is the back, this is the B side, so. Uh, it don't matter when you when you're cutting this part out. So I'm going to biscuit joint this thing. I'll show you how it all works in just a few minutes. So uh, we're going to make the frame now, and we're going to make it as smartly as we possibly can. When it comes to woodworking like this, I'm kind of a nipper. I uh, I prefer to cut it what I know is a little bit too long. And then I'll nip it into place, nip it in the bud. So it feels good and flat here. You can see I got some overhang. And I'll just take that off a little bit at a time. And this end is just nice. Okay, that's really nice right there. That's a good looking piece of wood. Uh, so we're going to code this one like right here. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, I probably will turn it over. And I am going to staple this thing too. I'm going to biscuit joint the, the edges and then I'm going to staple it to the door from the B side. You'll see what I'm talking about. So let's get that one to fit and then get the other three pieces and get it framed. And then that'll help me do the crossing middle part. And uh, I don't know how long this will have to dry, but it's going to be enough. Uh, See, I'm talking about this middle part here. That's that you go short, you go long, okay. And that's the way we want this to look. But we got to do the outer frame first. It's hard to tell because it's the same species of wood, but and it looks bowed because of the clamp ends on the ground. But I've got my long piece here and here, and I've nipped them all down, clamped them in, and you just you check the corners. And you make sure you know it's pretty fair. I do have a belt sander, so I'll be able to make it look a little nicer, if, if need be. I mean, it is a barn door. I have to keep reminding myself I am not doing really fancy carpentry here. Okay, so now all I got to do is uh, take a single piece, and uh, here are my scraps. That's all the scrap there was, both with the labels on them. And so, so far, I gotta hook up the tractor and get all the stuff out of the house. What time is it? It's, uh, oh, just after two. Okay, so let's cut them middle ones and I'll show you what that looks like. And I'm just gonna biscuit joint those and frame them out right here. Uh, I would be careful moving a big thing around like this, even if it's biscuit joined. I wouldn't mess with it too much. Uh, they, I mean, it, it is more or less a butt joint with a little reinforcement and, you know, 
Man's entitled to mortise a few butts now and then. Okay, let's uh, put this down. All right, I got all, what is it, 16 biscuits cut, ready to go. Give it a little sanding right there. And uh, I use number 10s, and uh, that ought to be fine. Two number 10s is probably better than... Possible. Okay, let's join them up. So I got old Bessie down there clamping, and I got these two in my little tandem way. So there is the frame. So I'm gonna sneak a board underneath them. No, I don't know if I will, because she's squeezing out, ain't she? Let's let that sit for a while. And then uh then I'll get another board and I'll make the cross section. So there was discussion on which way this was going to go. So I'm feeling like this is going to be the top. So we're going to put this right here to remind us when we do our cross hatch here. I'm getting ready to do getting ready to do the uh, the little cross pieces. I've got it all marked and everything. Here, this is going to call for uh, circular saw action in the hand held variety. Now, I will admit that a man could have biscuit jointed this, you know, all together and all that other stuff. Way too complicated an affair for an interior door. If this was an exterior door and I was doing all this stuff for something that's going to be in the weather, that's one thing. But remember, I'm going to be uh, stapling these pieces of wood to this panel. So I'm going to, and there's going to be Gorilla Glue all around the periphery and all down the middle. And it's, it ought to be amazingly stable. So I just think that looks a treat. I love it. So you got to got to go for a while to, to uh, get to have the fun. So uh, I've got to tell you too. I love this workbench, this on the rollers, on, on the wheels. I just, I can manipulate anything I want to, any way I want to. It's just, it's just handy having this whole thing floating around. And so it just makes it so much easier to get your, you don't end up in odd angles with your hands and all that stuff. So I want that to stay flat. And then I'm going to uh, just get it to where I can just lay that piece of wood down in here. And get the gorilla glue and we'll be we'll be happy well i had a I'm glad i had a little extra glue so that really worked out having that little tiny bit that i absconded with from the owner's uh, uh, palatial mansion there we go i've got it i gorilla glued in place the cross hatch the other ones are yellow glued with biscuits and so all we got to do now is wait we're gonna leave this till tomorrow. Leave it till tomorrow. It's gonna be beautiful. We now have a frame that's uh, 14 hours of drying and the door body itself. And uh, we're going to uh, intermingle these. I have, I have decided that this is the A side of this and this is the A side of this. Looks good to me. And we're going to uh, put them together now. If I can find the Gorilla Glue, there it is. And uh, I've got I've got these ready to go. These, uh, oops, there's my timer. These will work fine. So, sorry, my timer went off. But uh, let's just get it together. And the Metabo is. Uh, Oh, stop it. Okay, stop it. Okay, so the Metabo's ready to go, if I can if I can find it. Oh, there it is right there. It kind of disappeared into the background. So here's a real nice uh, tool. So let me uh, make this call and then I'll lay this down and show you what it looks like. I am going to take you to the very end. You're going to see it uh, stained and hung at the house. So we will, I'm not going to just uh, let this go. So let me make this call. All right.
more in a minute. All right, here we go. Here's what it's gonna look like. And and I gotta send a picture to the owner. I like that. I like that character here a little bit. It just looks good. And uh, not much you can do about it. I just don't like the other side. And they did want it to go slant that direction. And the way wood is, you can't much argue about it. I think that uh, uh, you gotta kinda take what you get uh, until we get uh, things back the way they should be. And so there that is. So all I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna make, I'm gonna uh, make some pencil marks and I'm going to uh, turn this whole thing over and uh, then uh, I'll put the glue on it and then uh, we'll, uh, we'll tack it down. And then that, that'll be it for everything I can do here in the barn. We're marked and ready. I got the glue ready, but I, I can't wait. Gorilla glue waits for no man. And uh, so I got to do this and do it quick. And then we'll start, we'll start stapling. A good enough bead of glue is here. And there's my, I changed my mind on which way to do things. So anyway, don't matter. I've got it drawn here and this is all you do. I can stand on it now. Stay on the inside. And I'm gonna I'm gonna use up a bunch of these. And then uh we'll turn it up here soon. I I don't see any reason in letting this cure because it'll be alright. So let's, uh, let's use up some staples. And then we'll stand it up and we'll put it, I gotta get it on that trailer over there. So it looks like it's time for a uh, little clearing out. I probably won't do that till tomorrow. All right, there she is. She's sideways, but that's okay. I'm not gonna stand her up because I'm afraid she's gonna fall down and hit something. And I got her out of the wind. So uh, that's gonna be it for right here. I see no reason to do anything more. Uh, it's not exactly beautiful, but nobody's gonna see the bottom, nobody's gonna see the top. So it just doesn't matter. So uh, this is Mark T for top, T for top. And that's all there is to a barn door. And believe me, it's a hell of a lot of work. I still can't recommend the kit. I have talked to people who bought them. They say they're fair to Midland, but that's about it. Uh, so this, this is, uh, a beautiful substantial slightly more expensive project and uh, does take a little bit of woodworking uh, uh, prowess I guess is the word so there'll be a little bit always remember uh, sand and stain if you're going to and then uh, you, you can do a little bit of wood filler there's a little crack right there I'd like to put a little wood filler in but that's just I uh, got the Gorilla Glue and it's going to town so uh, it's so heavy now it's not so heavy, but it's heavy. It's pretty heavy. So you're going to hear a little noise alert here. Okay. And uh, that's it. And be sure if you change your mind to, to put X's on the part you change your mind on. So uh, anyway, let's go to the house. I tell you, well, let's call this segment done. So give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. And uh, we will see uh, what goes on here. Okay. Hey.